Hello, hello. Today I will be featuring the Des Moines, the US tier 10 cruiser that has recently gotten a small buff. The buff is of course uh, the change from uh, 6 second reload to 5.5 second reload. Now, when this buff was announced, I did say that this is really not going to change anything and I think it's the most unnecessary buff possible for the Des Moines because of course one of the strengths or the absolute strength of this ship is the DPM how much damage it can pump out in a short duration of time that has always been the strength and making it even more absurd so to say is pretty pointless in my opinion because that's not the issue with this ship the issue with this ship has always been lack of tankiness compared to how aggressive you have to play it if you don't have cover. Like in the, Usually um, you will play the ship as I'm displaying it now. You will find good positions, good cover. Of course this, this ship has always been highly about positioning and uh, very cover based play because you're not tanky enough to endure the hits in the open. And Moskva for example can pretty easily sail out in the open, it can endure the hits and uh, it can deal with the incoming damage. The Des Moines cannot. It's, if you manage to tank it on your broadside, your angled broadside, then you are fairly tanky. But the nose is of course very squishy and if they can't overwhelm your nose or, or match it, then they can just shoot your turrets, both of which are quite squishy as well. So that has always been the issue. So this patch or this buff to the Des Moines, when I said I thought it was one of the most unnecessary and useless patch, uh, patches, a lot of people got very upset at me and said, well, just because you do well in the Des Moines doesn't mean that you uh, should be like criticizing this patch and blah, 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 blah. But that's because they fundamentally don't understand that this patch doesn't change anything regarding how this is played. And it doesn't change anything for the people that struggle with it. For those that are unaware of what I'm doing here, I'm radaring this Udaloi for the sake of my Fletcher. I pinged the Fletcher on the minimap after I radared him and I'm letting the Fletcher in inflict damage on him. This is something of course you don't see too often because for some reason people are super hesitant to ever use radar for their teammates. They only use radar if they can shoot themselves, if they can benefit themselves. But when it comes to helping their team out and like forcing someone out of position, they refuse to do it. In this case, uh, my radar on him actually, thanks to all the uh, firepower from the Fletcher, forces the Udaloi to move, which is of course exactly what I wanted. And then the Fletcher got torn, which was less optimal. <laughs> anyway, but of course the reason why I said that this entire patch was completely unnecessary and completely pretty much garbage was of course that it doesn't change the gameplay of the, of the ship at all. If you struggled with the Des Moines before this patch, um, gaining half a second on the gun reload isn't gonna make you suddenly do a lot better. No, you're still gonna struggle with it. If you did well before, well, you're gonna do slightly better now. Nothing has changed when it comes to the fundamental gameplay. It is still, you find good cover, you find good positions, and you nail them from afar, you try to avoid tanking as much as possible, you try to avoid directly eating shells as much as possible, and your damage is of course insane thanks to well how quickly your guns reload nothing has changed really this is slowing down full broadside oh wow because I, I haven't been spotted yet see that's the thing i've been uh, hiding hiding uh, my position so he doesn't realize just what is heading his way and i think now he's starting to get an idea when he ate that volley and there we go another chunk of citadels and now he realizes holy shit there's probably another Des Moines in there and he has to bail. Des Moines of course has a fairly large citadel if you give it any sort of broadside unlike the Sao which uh, troll armor you will get citadel very very easily in this ship and he's gonna bail. Can I hit him? Of course that range is this it becomes hard to hit him and of course this is one of the things uh, let's say had they improved shell velocity by a slight, very very slight amount, just like they improved the reload very slightly. Had, had they improved shell velocity, oh wow, the ship would play completely differently because the long range potential would be much stronger on this ship. So that would have been a significant change. The Baltimore, that one got a significant change because that one had a weakness where it didn't deal uh, the close range DPM or in general the DPM on that ship was fairly weak. So uh, it struggled because of that, so the Baltimore buff 
change that chip significantly because you can be much more aggressive thanks to the increased close range damage you have. But the Des Moines? There's almost no changes. It plays exactly the same. Well, it's good for Louis repair on my first fire, which is of course a terrible idea. For those that aren't aware, well, you can pretty much see it here. The, the ridiculous uh, DPM combined with the fire chance, uh, especially at this range on a ship as big as the Kurforst, means I'm just bathing him in HE shells and I'm gonna be getting tons of fires on him and there's almost nothing he can do. I even got a third fire on him. So that's what a triple fire on him that he cannot repair. So looking at my damage numbers top right, you can see how it goes kaching, kaching over and over again. Like, well, I'm getting 2k damage almost per second on, on, on him right now. And that's of course, these are exactly the same strengths we had before. Is this a Magi gonna push up? Gonna see if I can uh, take him on. But of course, this is kind of my point though. You see, I'm still playing the ship exactly as I used to play it. Uh, this is exactly the same way. Usually when I showcase this map, I tend to... I love the A-spawn, because there are some very good positions you can park your ship in. But, on any map with cover, you can find similar positions. For example, in this this side, I've shown uh, the positioning I chose here. I'm able to radar C, I'm able to support my DDs inside C, I'm able to shoot into B as well. Um, I have rocks covering one of my flanks. Uh, the very same Des Moines gameplay as before. It's just very, very slightly better DPM now. That's it. That's the change. And I feel like a lot of people didn't really understand that, or um, they don't understand how the ship plays, because going from 6 second reload to 5.5 second reload has changed nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's such an... You, I honestly, I did not even... I do not even notice it in average play, because... Uh, you still shoot extremely quickly, I mean, slightly, slightly quicker than before. And the change is such a small and insignificant one and has no impact on how the ship is played. It has no impact on your tankiness, on your survivability, on anything. That it's, in my opinion, the most useless buff they could have possibly given to the Des Moines. Which was kind of my issue or what I, what I raised the last time. Um, Alternative buffs that I could consider that would be fantastic for the Des Moines. Maybe slightly better stealth. Get it? It doesn't have to be as good as the Zao stealth, but maybe slightly better stealth to make uh, um, getting into these positions easier and less risky. Or perhaps allowing some more stealth fire. But then again, Wargaming hates any sort of stealth fire. So okay, let's scrap the stealth. Slightly more armor, especially the frontal bow armor and the deck armor. Those would be two things I would love or even including buffing the frontal turrets as well, like the armor on the front turrets. This would be changes that would impact the way the ship is played, because you could push in more aggressively and you wouldn't be punished as hard for being caught out in the ship as you are right now. Okay, more pushing in. He's not, wait, he's not slowing down. Shit, this is the problem when you don't play the ship in a while. Even at 9.2km you have to lead a ton to land those shells. Did I finally take enough lead? There we go, that's enough lead. And instantly it gets destroyed. But, um, yeah, when you don't play the demo, I haven't, I've been playing so much uh, tier 7 ranked as of late, so my aim is pretty garbage when it comes to playing the demo. But, uh, you kind of get used to it fairly quickly. It's just that you have to adjust your aim a lot. You have to get used to these hanging shell times, uh, which is, of course, one of the major issues. But, my point is, this patch hasn't changed anything. Not anything. You, anyone who faces Des Moines should still f fight it exactly the same way. Um, things that beat Des Moines in the past still beat Des Moines. Things that lost to Des Moines in the past still lose to Des Moines. It's still a monster against carriers. It's still a monster against DDs as long as you're close enough to them. Um, it's all these things. It's still a close range uh, brawling monster. Whoa, let's not give this much broadside. Gotta be careful with the broadside. The Baltimore has of course gotten significant buffs which made it so much stronger. Now if I could just find the right spot for my shells to land, so I could finally hit that Citadel. There we go. Instantly 16.6k bullet. This fully should kill him. Oh, and we went from Citadels to, I'm not sure what, Urpens? That should kill him. There we go, finally. And the uh, Grosse Kurforst is back. Of course, now that I am in the open, I'm pushing up since this game is pretty much over at this point. Um, 
when you fight something like a Grosse Korforst, you gotta keep in mind that he can overmatch your front armor. That means he can overmatch your nose. So when you fight something like a Grosse Korforst, you need to make sure your never pointed nose directly in towards him. Uh, you gotta make sure that uh, you're giving him your broadside. But if you give too much broadside, well, then you're gonna get Citadel. So yeah, it's kind of a balancing act where uh, I usually like to shift my ship back and forth from left to right to left to right and so forth because it throws off their aim. And I really, really try to avoid giving them the nose because the nose is the easiest thing. If someone sh sails, sails right at you, you have the easiest shot in the world. You put your crosshair right on the ship, you pull the trigger and you shoot him right through the nose into the frontal citadel and you kill the Nemoine. That's how easy it is for someone to de deal with you. So my goal here of course is to I shift my uh, ship left and right, I throw his aim, I make sure he cannot get any sort of hits on me and I try to avoid giving too much broadside when his guns are actually reloaded because I don't want to get citadeled and the idea is to whittle him down with my DPM before his gun power can basically destroy me. And so far it's been going pretty well. Now let's see where the shell's going. He hit shot my superstructure there, which was of course pretty smart. Um, his aim was a bit higher than normal, and that was actually smart. If he had hit my citadel side armor, then the shells would have bounced, but he aimed a bit higher, so he did get a ton of damage on me. And of course, in this kind of situation, a Moskva would not have any issues closing the distance with this ship. Not any issues at all. The Moskva is so stupidly tanky. But the Des Moines suffers greatly. Even uh, Zao would probably not have many issues here. But Des Moines is so, so squishy. And here I make the mistake I just spoke of. You see, I'm no sin. Bam. Instantly deleted. And that's, of course, the issue with the bow armor being so squishy. I made the one mistake I spoke the entire time about. You cannot show your nose. As soon as you show your nose to a battleship, amusingly, he instantly overmatches it and you get deleted. So that's kind of always been the balancing act with the Des Moines. You want to angle, but you don't want to angle too perfectly, because if you angle perfectly nose in, then that happens. You instantly lose the fight and get deleted. Anyway, the game ended quite soon after this. This was over, as I said. 226k damage, which is pretty nice. Um, amusingly, this game actually had a carrier in it, if we look at the team score. But uh, he didn't send a single plane on this on my side of the map, so I didn't get a single plane kill. Still though, fo considering uh, the part of the map I, f I was focused on, that's pretty pretty nice XP, pretty nice damage. I barely got to shoot the Udaloi, but I radared him for my team. And this though, this is exactly the way I used to play the Des Moines before. Nothing has changed. I got a ton of uh, some HE and a lot of fire damage and a ton of AP damage. 12 minute game great damage, everything is fantastic, but nothing has really changed to the way it plays. My build is of course still exactly the same one, you can look at my 0.60 Des Moines build, I'm still using the exact same one, nothing has changed. <laughs> and, uh, and when I say this, I'm not uh, belittling other Des Moines players and saying that wow, this patch wasn't needed, I'm just saying this was the most useless type of patch they could have possibly made. Anyway, that was all for me, I'll talk to you guys later.